Here we have the basilisk on the right and then the arthurus on the left. Going into the basilisk, take a good little look at this. It has a very steep thumb place. It's very, very large. It has a very large palm plate. And it's actually very wide as well. Overall, a ginormous mouse. You can see it has those three slider plates that kind of help the resistance. And then it has that slanted edge. It's very wide. It has a resistance wheel at the bottom for the scroll wheel on top. My favorite thing about this mouse is the customization of the thumb button. They have a long one and a short one. They have the long one attached. It's awesome. Your hand fits quite nice on it if you have the most monstrous hands ever. The razor logo and the scroll wheel are fully customizable, so whatever color under the sun you want for each of them, you can do individually. If you have a really, really big hands, I'd highly recommend this mouse. But if you're someone like me and has very tiny hands, I actually would recommend you looking into other mouse. But it's a very luxurious mouse if you have very, very large hands. Now we're stepping into the Arthurus. The Arthurus is, as you can tell, much tinier than the Basilisk. It has that nice feel to it and it's actually wireless, which I kind of like more after having so many different wires on my table. Kind of is nice to have something that's wireless. So you see on the plate, it has these three magnets which attach the face plate and it actually Although I was concerned, it doesn't fall off, so that's pretty legit, and if you wanted to, which I might do in the future, you can paint the faceplate. So it's very smooth when you use it. Um, the keys are quite nice. As you can tell, I'm moving it around, and it's very, very quick to slide around, which is really, really good. Not It doesn't slip out of your hands or anything like that. I quite like the, the shape of it for my small hands. This was what I would recommend if you have much tinier hands. I have the tiniest hands that I've ever seen. That would be this. The, you can see the little scrolly plate. It doesn't actually have anything, any type of wheel that you can change it. So it is stuck in that um, same scrolling pattern. You can see the different slider pads. These are actually very nice and I highly, highly like them. My hand fits quite perfectly on it. On the back of it we have the USB mode and the Bluetooth mode. Currently I'm using the USB mode, but if you had all your USB slots full, it's convenient to go ahead and use the Bluetooth mode. So we're going to go ahead and compare comparison time 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 so here we have both of the razor mouses so we have the three little grips on the arthurus and we have the three grips on the basilisk i will say i really like the arthurus's grips a lot more i could tell the basilisk grips got scratched up real quick also the little razor sign on the basilisk does light up while the arthurus does not here i kind of wanted to compare these three because Everybody has probably used this type of Logitech mouse. So you can see the Basilisk is this gigantic monster. And the Logitech is the smallest one of the three. So you really only need two fingers on that. Arthurus, you can fit three fingers. Logitech does have this curved in middle. The Arthurus is kind of tapered into the front. It's all about preference, really. The basilisk you can see is just a monster. I also wanted to show the Sailor Moon mouse because it's also pink and I wanted to give it a fair shot. It's very, very cute. It's kind of the size of the basilisk but a little smaller. So if you have larger hands, this one might be for you. 
you can see that it's not the highest quality I think I paid like $18 for it but it's definitely super cute especially with the LED light the LED light is super cute on the Sailor Moon although the basilisk is so cool that you can program both the scroll wheel and the razor symbol to be whatever color you like the Sailor Moon mouse is a little quieter for clicking left trigger, right trigger. However, the Sailor Moon mouse is not programmable. It just rotates between the colors, which is cute, but if you want it to stop, the only option you have is to turn the light off altogether. You can tell that the Basilisk is still the most ginormous mouse ever, and the Sailor Moon one is a little smaller. Still both very large. In a nutshell, if you have big hands, go with the Basilisk. If you have small hands, go with the Arthurus. If you're not trying to spend a lot of money, go with the Sailor Moon Mouse. Blah, 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 blah. Thank you guys for watching today. Hopefully you found something useful from this video. If I helped you in some way, please consider hitting that subscribe button. And hopefully you guys have wonderful days. See you next time. Peace.